From the fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. What's going on guys if you want to win a shout out in one of my videos all you got to do is join our family join the doc squad There's only two steps. It's easy first turn on the bell below this video next to the subscribe button And then just comment squad followed by a random number between 1 and 1,000 now today before we get started I want to announce the winner from the last video the shout out goes to Matthew underscore HZ 13 the winning number was, of course, my football number. You guys saw it coming. One of my numbers I had at Oregon State, 88. Shout out to my boy, Matthew. I went to his channel, of course. He didn't have any content yet, but stay on your grind. And I'm still waiting to show off one of your guys' videos on my channel. Okay, let's get started with the video. So a lot of people have been asking me for advice about a lot of positions, but you guys know I have the most experience at receiver. Although I played receiver most of my life growing up, I have also had the chance to play the exact opposite corner. Now I just want to share my experience at both positions. Now in high school, if you guys watch my highlights, you'll see mostly receiving highlights. But you guys will also notice I have some random defensive clips. It's actually crazy, believe it or not, a lot of colleges wanted me to play receiver, but just as many schools wanted me to play DB, which was an obstacle that I had to overcome and fight through growing up. I get this question a lot from subscribers too. Subscribers who want to play other positions. And my advice to them is if you're playing a position, for example, if you're playing DB and want to play receiver, you should stay after practice and do receiver drills or get with your quarterback and run routes. This way, not only will you be getting better, but you'll also become a better overall player all around. And then when the opportunity comes for you to play the position you want, you'll be ready. Okay, so when I got to Washington State, I was excited to play for the coaches who wanted me as a receiver. I was ready to ball out, but they got fired and guess what? I got switched to corner. I hated it. And if you watch my D1 story video or why I quit football video, you'll hear about it. A perfect video to show you guys how much I hated it. I actually thought about giving up. Eventually, I was forcing myself to play a position that I did not want to. And I'm not gonna lie, after locking up receivers, it started growing on me. I loved it. But in my heart, I love playing receiver way more and I cannot lie. Which is why on my off days, I would always be with my quarterback running routes when I I played corner so after eventually leaving wazoo to oregon state i got my opportunity to play receiver again and of course i was ready i played receiver for two years and the first year was great until the second year my coaches got fired so i didn't play as much as i wanted to but trust me my talent did not go unnoticed my teammates and even my new coaches knew i was good and i also made it known that i was I still mossed people in practice and still made plays. They just wanted to play their players, their recruits, whatever. So my third year, I switched the corner. And let me just give you guys some ups about both positions. Playing receivers, some ups, well, for one, the highlights look way better. You get the moss people, you get the ball more, more opportunities to score touchdowns. And also meetings. Meetings are way more exciting for receivers, trust me. You see more highlights on our side, and if you don't catch the ball, it's easy to say the QB threw a bad ball or he overthrew you or something to blame it on the quarterback. And also, we try to make snags, and if we drop a one-handed catch, it's like, whatever. And then open field. Open field is the best. Open field one-on-one -on -one with the corner is my favorite position to be in in the whole world. There's a 99% chance I'll gain positive yards and or juke you. And there's a 1% chance you'll get lucky. Now playing corner, some ups. First of all, jamming a receiver is the best feeling ever. I love getting the opportunity to punch receivers in the chest every play I get. You also get so much more freedom. Like you can literally walk around while the QB is under the center. And you get a lot of dope techniques. For example, bailing or coming up and jamming. You have the element of surprise when you're a corner. I think DBs are more savages, and that's just how it is in college. You want savages on your defense who hit hard, which is another dope thing. You get to hit people. But those are just some positives of both. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to make another video talking more about both positions, positives and negatives, let me know. And also, you guys tell me, what position do you guys think is better? Receiver or DB? Comment below. I love you guys. Peace.